the first card you have is your current position coming into month and you have the emperor. So you may be dealing with an Aries because emperor card is the Aries card. This is tradition. This is somebody who holds themselves to a high standard. So right now, I feel like if you're single, you're definitely um, putting that out to the universe. And I think it's really important, Aquarius, because I think at some point in the past, maybe throughout this year, you've been kind of like willing to placate people. You know that they're not right for you. And maybe they're giving you all the wrong signs, whatever the case may be. But here you're going, I'm holding myself to the standard of I deserve better. I deserve to be treated better. You're starting to realize that you are also a part of why people treat you a certain way. And we all are. We all go, well, why the hell am I only meeting this type of person? Well, half the time because we're only letting those fucking type of people into our life. So I hate to be harsh, but we all have to take responsibility for the people we allow into our life. And I feel like some of you have let people overstay their welcome, which is why you're coming in this month with a more more kingship, like structured authority, traditional way of thinking going, look, you're going to have to fight for me a little bit. I need somebody who's attentive. I need somebody who comes 50-50 and you may even need somebody who comes a little 75 because you've been put off by people. I feel like you've almost been like, you know, they're great, but, 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 like there's all these buts, but then you have an excuse for why you allow them to stick around and it's not good enough anymore. So you're holding yourself to a higher standard this month. Um, if you're looking to reconcile, I feel like this is kind of the stubbornness coming in. One or the other of you is, or both of you are kind of going, I'm not calling her. I'm not calling him. I, I, you know, and it's interesting because I do feel like you both do have this strong connection. There's that love there in the U.S. here. It's about to be the holidays. And of course, all that reminiscing comes in at that point. But this is saying that you do want the traditional. So I feel like there may have been a fail at some point about the traditional, whatever your traditional is, right? Your traditional doesn't have to be married, kids, you know, pick and fence. Yours could be, you know, partners for life with two dogs, whatever it is for you. I feel like you, it, there was somewhere you saw yourself going and then it got off track and you're trying to say, no, you know, this is where we were going and I'm not going to wait two more years to, to get where we were going. Again, going back to the fact that, yes, I know for some of you, you're going to say it was really harsh. There was adultery and whatnot. But for a lot of you, I feel like you just got off track as a couple. You just forgot. Everything else got in the mix. Maybe there was some deceit that kind of, um, you know, led and spiraled into different scenarios. So I do feel like you're trying to get back to that place of knowing what you want and, and going for it, hopefully with this person. But regardless, you know where you're going and what your expectations are. The next card you have is how you're feeling coming into the month. And you have the Knight of Cups. So this is whimsy. This is dreaming. This is romantic. This is fanciful. If you're single, I feel like this is kind of how you're feeling. But you're wanting somebody to portray it upon you. You're wanting somebody to romance you. You're wanting somebody, again, to be attentive. Because I feel like, Aquarius, you've let yourself go. Not in a, not in a negative way at all. But, again, you've allowed people to come in who are not deserving of your time and attention. You've... You're Aquarius, because you're an air sign, right? You're willing to be the attentive person. You're willing to be the person that puts forth a lot of energy. When you're interested in somebody, you're really interested in them and you let them know. But you're meeting people that don't return that action towards you. And so this is you dreaming of, you know, this man or woman coming in saying, I like, I really like you. They're actually putting the effort towards it. And don't lose that. Keep that. Because what you put out into the universe or what you think about or what you dream about comes back to you tenfold. So if you've got that pa positive energy about yourself, then you can get that in return. The best thing about this is that you're not losing faith in the fact that there's somebody out there for you. Now, if you're looking to reconcile, this is very similar in the dreaming, the romantic part, but you're really feeling like you need them to come back and, and romance you. I feel like, again, like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like it was petty or it was just bullshit or you guys were just tired of, you know, the same old crap. And somewhere along the line, you got lost. It wasn't about you and them in love and progressing in a relationship. There were all these other things combined into it. There was work and um, kids and different things, family and whatever else was, you know, kind of interfering. And you guys forgot about you. You forgot about the romance. You forgot about the dreaming, the whimsy, the things that are important to keep people together. Because sometimes relationships take work, but you still need to have that romance. And so this is you saying, you know, where did we lose that light? Where did we lose that fire for each other? We used to be so romantic. We used to, you know, take a date night. When's the last time we've done those types of things? So you're really contemplating on what you expect and where you want to see yourself going forward with this person. 
The next card you have is your distant past. So over the past five, 10 years, it could be throughout childhood. And you have the 10 of wands. This is a burden. This is some sort of burden that you've carried. So I usually read this together for singles and for anybody looking to reconcile because it's generally not the person you're looking to reconcile with. This is a deeper, further past. Um, but And it could go, like I said, as far as childhood. But this is also something the universe wants you to remember to either stop repeating a negative pattern or to embrace this month. And so you have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, again, like I said, is the burden. It's a responsibility. But it's also a completion. So for some of you, I feel like you actually went through a really hard relationship. You went through a divorce. You went through separation of, you know, um, custody. There's different things here. And you're kind of letting... You've let that weigh on your relationships and your decisions before. You've let it, you've carried the burden. This makes perfect sense because like I said, whether you're single or looking to reconcile, you're not, you're not getting the deserving that you should get, right? You've, you've allowed people to kind of take advantage. You've allowed people to, um, let you carry that burden, let you carry that weight. And I feel like the universe is saying, look, keep this hope alive. Keep this, this somebody out there for me, this twin flame out there for me alive, because you've bared, you've bore that burden before. Okay. You've had the divorces. You had the relationships where you were in the relationship 110% and they were in it 40%. You have been the one to carry that weight on your shoulder. Complete that cycle, Aquarius, and say, you know what? I deserve better. I care about myself more. This is long lasting. This is going, the next one is going to be the one. If you're looking to reconcile, it doesn't mean this person can't be the one, but you're not going to continue to carry their relationship. Again, you need that attentiveness. You need that support. You need the partnership. It's not just your shoulders that life relies on. It's not just your shoulders that a relationship should rely on. The next card you have is your immediate past over the past few weeks, past month or two, and you have the nine of cups. So this is interesting. It's kind of a twist because the Nine of Cups is a dream. It's a wish. So this tells me if you're single or looking to reconcile, you've been really hoping for something specific. If you're single, you've definitely been putting out some vibes, whether it's, you know, online dating, meetup groups, reaching out to somebody that you'd like to date, or they're reaching out to you. There's some sort of moment here that's happened the past few weeks or month or two that is giving off the vibe of having, um, feeling the faith again, feeling the overwhelming, you know, when you just have that moment every once in a while where you just have that like blip for like four seconds where you just know everything's going to be okay. It's that type of moment right there. And if you're single, I think you are dating or you are starting to date and it's actually becoming fruitful. It's actually feeling really good. You're feeling, and like I said, it's interesting here. I feel like there's somebody that maybe you didn't expect to have feelings for and you are or maybe there's a friendship here that is developing into more and you're kind of excited to see where it goes um or you know this is what you're hoping for and this is what you're kind of putting out into the universe and expecting to get that back now if you're looking to reconcile i feel like either there was some sort of communication maybe just your thoughts have turned because a lot of times with reconciliation there is the, um, you have to go through the stages, right? The anger, the hurt, I'm mad, the nasty, the, the gut wrenching, the stomach, the despair, the pain, all that. But then in turn, you start to see what, you know, what are we doing? We have this potential to be great together. We have this potential to do amazing things together. And maybe you're at that point now where you're seeing things a little more, uh, positively, or maybe there is some communication or maybe they, excuse me, um, you heard through the grapevine that they asked about you or whatever it is for you, there's something that happened that has pushed you towards a more um, a happier feeling about it. And some of you may be like, you know what, that's not at all, but like I want nothing to do with them. But then you're finally getting over them and that's exactly what you wanted. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next two or three months after November, and you have the Page of Cups. You have a lot of water energy here. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer because you have a ton of water energy here. But the Page of Cups is a nostalgia. It's an innocence. It's looking back. It's a meditation. It's remembering. So the Page of Cups tells me right off the bat that if you're single, your, your distant future is you looking back on being single and being like, sayonara. I know that sounds weird, but I do. I feel like this is an innocence. This is a, a birth of something new, a healthy relationship, something you're not used to. Somebody who's actually, you know, like going to be romantic, going to push you to new levels, going to make you feel wanted and, and going to go 50-50 with you. And this is you just going, oh, 
that's what an awesome person who treats me well, that's what this feels like. And looking back going, okay, but I also took responsibility in this in the fact that I didn't just, I didn't take somebody or I didn't date somebody just to say I had someone. I dated people with a purpose, knowing that there's a possibility that they're a really good fit for me. And your reward here is um, somebody who actually does treat you in the way that you deserve to be treated. If you're looking to reconcile, this is definitely, if you guys don't get to back together in the next couple of months, this is definitely you looking back at some point or they're looking back at some point. This is remembering fond memories. Um, and it's not that you guys won't. It's just, I think, again, you're on a more positive note. I think you've been through the hurt. I been think you've been through the anger. You may still be going through it. And so it's going to be tough. It's not going to be, you know, um, like all of a sudden it's done and over and everything's peachy keen and roses and rainbows. And, you know, you get my point. But this is you saying, okay, how can we make this better? Remember the good times we had? Doesn't that far outweigh the bad? If you really feel like this is your soul connection, this is your twin flame, then you really need to think on a more positive note and you guys need to have some conversations, put in some work to make this happen if it's what you guys really want. The next card you have is your immediate future. So over the next few weeks, next month or so, throughout the month of November, and you have the Queen of Wands. Now I love this for both of you whether you're single or looking to reconcile, because the Queen of Wands is, she's full of ferocity. She's confident. She's sexy. People notice her. Again, I don't apply sex to the card, so he is sexy and he's noticeable. Um, it, it, either gender, it doesn't matter. But the Queen of Wands is somebody you want to be, and that's how you're going to be projecting yourself throughout the month. If you're single, this is confidence. This is um, you feeling at the top of your game. And this is why people are noticing you. This is why there's options out there for you. And I feel like there's one or two people who are lifting your spirits, who are kind of pushing you into that person where you're feeling like, hey, I could do this. Hey, there's somebody out there for me who I don't have to bear the burden on everything. There's somebody out there who actually wants like a true give and take relationship where it's not just about me making the decisions or me having to you know, make the contact or it's somebody who's going to be affectionate towards you and it's going to build up your confidence as well as you're building up theirs at the same time. Now, if you're looking to reconcile, I feel like there may have been some damage here, right? To your confidence, to um, feeling, to how you feel about yourself in a relationship, your capabilities, what you bring to the table, what you're worth. And so I feel like your self-worth has been kind of defeated the past couple months, but not anymore. You're going to grow. And if it's with this person, you may not have communicated, but you may just be in a better place about the whole thing. You may just know that eventually you're going to reconnect, whether it's a month from now, whether it's two months from now, whether it's a year from now, you're kind of like, okay, that chapter's not over. We still have things to learn about each other. But in the meantime, I'm not going to feel begrudged anymore. I don't want to be in that dark place anymore. I need to lift my spirits up and get moving. The next card you have is something tangible throughout the month. Um, you have a lot of water and a lot of fire because now you've got these fire signs, fire signs coming up. Um, so you may be dealing with um, a fire sign. All right, so you have the King of Wands. Again, this is a tangible situation that will come up throughout November. It could be the beginning, middle, end. It could last for an hour. It could last for 10 hours. I love the King of Wands here for you because you go from the Queen to the King. The King of Wands means if you're single, there's definitely people interested in you. You're very attractive. People are going to um, kind of... Uh, come around you. They're going to be um, magnetized to a certain extent. And the King of Wands is somebody who deals with high high morals, high ethics. So this is you being the best you you can be um, without being um, cocky, without being um, boisterous. This is you saying, you know, I will give a lot of people the benefit of the doubt and I'm interested in getting to know you, you and you, if you're single and you have a lot of different options. Um, but this, I think, is somebody in particular that's going to make it known that, like, they're the, the top of the pack, if that makes sense. Like, if you've been dating a couple of people, you've been talking to a couple of people, this person's going to kind of force their way in and be like, hey, I recognize this king and queen, call, bleh, king and queen quality about you, and I respect that. And so I want to be first in line to, like, have a chance at getting to know you better. Now, if you're looking to reconcile, this person is drawn to you as well. Maybe they've gotten over their grudges. Maybe they've gotten over their judgments, and they're going, okay. Maybe it's time we talk. So I have a feeling either you will reach out to them or they will reach out to you because there is this strong connection. Because you have the two of cups, I feel like you're both almost admiring each other. And you may be like, you know what? That is crazy. He did me wrong. She did me wrong, whatever. But there's going to be a moment this month where you go, okay, can we get over this? Because I truly cared about this person at one point. So either shit or get off the pot, basically. The next card you have is anything you're going to feel throughout the month. 
Um, anything, again, it could be the beginning, the middle, the end. But again, this is internal. And you have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is about leaving. It's uh, abandonment. It's retreat. But it's also about vacation. So first of all, you could be taking a vacation. Maybe because here in the States, it's November and it's Thanksgiving. So this could completely represent like, hey, going on a trip. But if you're single, this definitely says that you're leaving past things behind. I feel like some of you have been dealing with people that you've dated or you've been talking to and they've just like, they've just fed you bullshit. They've been telling you, you know, what they think you want to hear, but there's no actions and you know that. So I feel like some of you would be leaving people behind. I don't think it's, I, so there's two things going on here. You're meeting somebody who's like making you feel amazing. That's making you feel romantic. That could be a twin, twin flame connection, etc. But at the same time, you're leaving past behaviors behind. You're leaving past, um, you're not allowing people who maybe manipulated you before. Even like friend with benefits situations, they're calling you or texting you or hey, but you always knew it was just a friends with benefit thing, but they always fed you lines to make you think that it was more. You get my point. So I feel like you'll be cutting ties with some people who just aren't worth it in your life and you know it's time to do it. It just kind of hurts because you, you know, leaving people behind, it never really feels good to anybody, right? Now, if you're looking to reconcile, this is you feeling like, okay, should I abandon the situation completely? Should I go? Should I disappear? Because I feel like you're both on this path of doing better and feeling better and recuperating from whatever it is that you guys went through. But at the same time, you're sitting here going, you know, like, hey, what are we doing? If we're going to do this, let's, let's do this. Or I'm moving on. I'm going somewhere else. And like I said, with this wish card, it could be that your only wish is to get over this person and you're finally feeling like you are. For the majority of you, I feel like a reconciliation is still positive because you have this two of wands connection. However, I feel like you're kind of like, I'm not going back to you until we get this figured out or until you show me that equal where I'm not bearing this burden, where it's, you know, 50, 50, and that I'm not pulling most of the weight in this relationship, then I'm going to keep gone as long as I need to be gone for you to figure out what the heck is going on. The next card you have are your hopes and fears for the outcome of the month. And you have the Queen of Cups. Again, all this water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's very mysterious. So if you're single, I think this is a very good card for you because this is saying leave the mystery. Okay. The queen is very mysterious. She doesn't let all of her secrets out. She doesn't go on dates with people and tell them, I want a house with a picket fence and dogs. And like, she just goes with the flow. She gives a little bit of herself, but then she recluses a little bit back. The queen of cups is all knowing she's, she's strong. She's independent. She knows that the right person will come along and work out of her what the, they want to get out of her. The information, they actually try, they're attentive. They actually put some effort into getting to know you. So if you're single, you definitely to, need to embrace that this month because it makes you mysterious, but it also makes people go, okay, I like you. I want to get to know you better. And I know that you deserve to have somebody kind of work for your attention. So I'm willing to do that. But if you show up and go, hey, I'm da -da 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 -da, and this is what I want for the rest of my life. They're going, well, okay, then there's like, I know everything about you and hi, nice to meet you. All right. If you're looking to reconcile, keep a little mystery in it too. I feel like this person needs to work for it. I think you know that. I think that you deserve that. And I think that you need to keep them. Again, it's not playing games, but it's making sure that that your needs and wants are met too, because I think you've spent so long trying to focus on theirs, trying to accommodate them that in the interim, you lose yourself. So keep, you know, don't tell them everything you're doing. You're not together right now. You don't have to tell them where you're going, who you're with, who called you, how's your grandma. You don't have to go into anything you don't want to. And I think that you need to, I think they need to work for it a little bit. The next card you have is your outcome of the month and you have the four of swords. This is a resting, it's an exhaustion, it's a recuperation. So if you're single, I feel like you are going to meet somebody who is going to make you feel like, whew, the dating game is over. I don't have to do this. Um, or the possibility is there. Will it happen right away this month? 